हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग खुश आमदीद खुय मोरख जी आय नो बखैर आगले निहाओ चुरेशु में वशमले और हाय गुनजाइमस गुड मॉर्गन ओला बोयोर प्रीवियस कैफा हाल हाल शमा चतोरे आलन वसालन मरहबा बुना मुचो ग्रासियास एंड अ वेरी अमेजिंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबॉडी हु इज ट्यून इनटू पीटीवी वर्ल्ड एंड वॉच यू वर्ल्ड दिस मॉर्निंग ऑन अ फ्राइडे that too which is a hashmi and shahzad khan hello shiza how are you today i'm absolutely great like every other day what about you well i'm feeling great too as well because it's friday morning and yeah. i think that the weather over in islamabad's perfect after yeah. the rain which actually took place for the last two days two as days well two days straight yes yes so but other than that i think a lot of women <coughs> and men actually got scared because of the fact that it was kind of hail storm as well oh yeah you know and then you know the lightning was struck in and you know there were there were a lot of things which were happening so i think for all those people who were actually scared Well, you do not have to be scared because of the fact that the two of the finest faces are right in front of you right now. <laughs> well, also, sorry. Also, Lately, <laughs> I think I'm very obsessed with myself and Shiza too. Yeah. Oh, well, that's so sweet. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday, as we already mentioned. Do remember us, Shiza and me, and our team as well in your prayers. And we're headed to weekend. And Shiza claims that this weekend is going to be soothing and relaxing for him. He's going to catch up on his sleep. Why so? Well, you know, it it certainly is not like that. Well, it was eventually when I told you that you know, it's going to happen. I think it oh, was last changed. Wednesday, yeah. Oh. <laughs> But things change. Alhamdulillah, that that's great too as well because things keep on changing, and I think that's great. But yeah. other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I think today that uh, today we put a very amazing and an inspiring show for all yeah. of you out there. So excited! Now, for example, when I graduated from my university, I was lucky enough that you know my father and my mother actually allowed me to go and work for a TV channel. when i was uh, in my 6th semester and you know they they kind of believed in me that no matter how far i'm going to go mm-hmm. in within this field i'll still be able to you know uh, complete my studies which i did but you know there's this fear i've seen within parents that yeah. okay w- w- once you know their uh, son or their daughter is going to graduate hmm. you know what will they do probably they'll have to look for other jobs right. and then there's this sentiment over here within pakistan where they say that you know if you do not know anybody within any other office it's hard for your their son or daughter to get a job which i think is changing with time it's yeah i really hope it's changing but you know shahzad i feel like you know there are some parents i do happen to know some parents who don't sort of invest time and their resources in their child's passion yeah. and what he wants to do yeah. like if your kid comes up to you or you see him you know doing good at probably painting or even dancing or yeah. any sport you should definitely invest your resources in that maybe make him join a class or something yeah. so that in the future even if he does inshallah have a good job do you know a yeah. continue with his life he should at least have something in Enjoyable to do as well. Yeah. That can be productive, and then make him probably some yeah. money too. Yeah, and I can relate to that because, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever <laughs> guitar I bought was with my own money, and oh, wow. uh, it's not that that you know my father wouldn't have actually bought it for me, but things were different back then. Okay. And for example, that you know if I would have actually told my father that I wanted a guitar, hmm. you know he'll actually tell me, "Oh, पढ़ते तो तुम होनी तुम गिटार ले दूँ तो तुम बिल्कुल नहीं पढ़ोगे." You know, for all those people who are, uh, who does not speak Urdu. So my father made a point and he said that you're not good with studies anyway yeah. so if you are you're going to get a guitar you'll probably spend the entire day with the guitar right. which was fine on his behalf or probably he was trying to save money back then <laughs> so you never know yeah. but eventually what i realize now is that for example if i must have had that guitar by you know for example when i was in my 7th or 8th mm-hmm. grade i think i would have been a better guitar player which i am now yeah. but eventually you know if you have this passion if you have that drive you can certainly do that but now you know as i mentioned the things are changing you really do not need to have people within those offices where you want your son or daughter to do a job yes. is not because you uh, i'm saying that you know everything is on merit now but there are other avenues now ladies right, and gentlemen absolutely and you know shahzad since we are talking about this um unemployment in our country let's face it is on ever high we all know that yeah. and i do happen to know a lot of people but 64% of us are youngsters between 15 to 30 so definitely we need to yeah. have a job or something but a lot of people do not they have the expertise they probably on merit and everything but they do not have the job so a lot of yes youngsters again in pakistan are resorting to something else yeah. to make money to yeah. make their life better and of course to you know uh, experience and channel their expertise as well yes. freelancing ladies and gentlemen we are talking about and i feel like i've mentioned this before as well on my show that especially writers freelance writers and content writers make up pakistani uh, freelancers make up the second biggest community on uh, the freelance websites wow. that i'm not supposed to name over here so i feel like we are definitely deriving in a lot of uh, you know money for the country yeah exactly that's <laughs> what it is economy is rising that's yes. what it is and you know ladies and gentlemen where shiza actually made a point that the parents do not really invest into mm-hmm. their kid i think that's what it is for example 
you know, when we were growing up, uh, first of all, we were a very, we are a very confusing generation because yeah. you know I was born in '87. Imagine no internet, landline probably, you know, and you know lesser cars, probably more motorbikes, bicycles, and things like that. But now, as we see <coughs> that things have changed enormously, and you yeah. know we have these technological equipments, and then you know people they are learning it, information right. technologies on boom. And for from now, you know, if we see 20 years ahead, I think information technology is going to be here as well. That is so true. And, and now, yeah. yeah, earlier we actually needed people within TV channels. I'm going to talk about myself yeah. who actually knew that, you know, okay, this person can do that or not. And then they'll call you in for an audition. Now with YouTube, Instagram and all of these social media platforms, they are for everyone. So true. now we actually have to come ourselves out of the hmm. box as well. And then we should not be conventional in our thought process. We should let the child do whatever they want to true. do because I know this one kid who's actually a YouTuber, he's eight years old, he's doing all of these toy reviews and he's earning seven oh, million yes, dollars a year. Oh my imagine, god. Imagine, imagine that you know this is the power of te technology these days. So let them do whatever they want to do, exactly. but obviously within those parameters, they, they do not hurt themselves. That's absolutely true. And Susad, well, this is not um, absolutely related to what we are talking about, but this reminds me of something. Since you mentioned when we were born, yeah. we had landlines and everything, but I even saw the time, not the time, very old, but maybe I am okay. I even saw the time when my mom used to go out and we used to uh, use PCO to call yeah. our dad because yeah, he yeah, was yeah. on, you know, hard areas and everything deployed yeah. over there. So we are definitely a confused generation, but we have it in our way. We have definitely, you know, sort of turned things around. Yeah, I can use a smartphone now. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a problem. <laughs> we know how particularly to. very well as well. So without further ado, I feel like we need to introduce Yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, so today we have been joined by two freelancers, obviously from different walks of life, and they have made themselves uh, so visible on the internet that people are following them in uh, and you know in large numbers as yeah. well so that means that their work has been recognized True. we'll talk about their journeys how they made it so far because it's not that that you open up an account or you open up a youtube channel and the first day you have got a million subscribers it's a long yeah. journey it takes a hard you have work. to be yeah. very patient you have to invest in it you have to think about different ideas you have to be very creative right. you have to be different from different people so we, we're going to discuss all of this and I'm very excited because the, both of these people, they're very young, they're yes. very vibrant, they've been doing a lot of work and it's been appreciated. On my right, right hand side, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually been joined by somebody who, uh, who happens to be a freelance activist and he's none other than Mr. <laughs> Rohan Zaki. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum, how are you? Walaikum <laughs> Asalaam, um, Thank you very much for joining us. Well, I mean, I've heard freelance uh, I don't know what, but freelance, freelance uh, but what is freelance activist? Yeah. <coughs> Basically, uh, freelance, it's a phenomenon in Pakistan not very much recognized yet. Mm. Right? Okay. So what I, I try to do is uh, I educate students. Okay. I go to the universities okay. and uh, pick few students that I see uh, I have the capability mm. to you know, learn some new skills. And then I try to recruit them and groom them with the modern tools. Okay. okay. And then when I feel they're ready, I put them in my teams and um, I sail the ship wow. yeah. on, on the shoulders. I think that's great. And do you even pay those students? Yeah, I, 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 I pay them matters. weekly. I pay them oh, weekly. Oh, well, that's yeah. good. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, because, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we do see a lot of freelancers as well. Mm. But what they do is with this newer talent, they pick them up, they use them for their own good. Don't pay them. So we, yeah. I, we do not appreciate and support that practice. I even say internees should be paid, man. Yeah, I think everybody needs to be paid here. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> time is important. But alongside Rohan, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I think that she's doing a great job because yeah. she's got more followers than me on Instagram. <laughs> well, this makes me a little jealous, but she's a freelance makeup artist. She's none other than Miss Lare Ibrahim. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum, how are you? Asalaamu Alaikum, fine. Thank you very much for joining us. It's wonderful well, to have you. Thank you guys for inviting us. But you so always much. have to remember during the show that I'm jealous of you because <laughs> you have more Instagram followers, okay? <laughs> Probably I'm going to get a shout out from her. Oh, but but it's all about makeup. <laughs> well, I get makeup done as well. well it's oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, so Lare, uh, <laughs> tell us about yourself. How did you get into makeup and why so, makeup? So, I am 22 and I'm a self-taught makeup artist. And I think if I started it about two years ago. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, it was very tough because you have to, you know, get the attention and you have to stand out in the market. Right. But then gradually with time, uh, once you put yourself out there, people recognize it yeah. gets easier. You get a lot of recognition, you get followers hmm. and it just gets better with time. Yeah. <laughs> right. But, you know, I'm sorry, Shazad, yeah, but this is a question related to what you already said. Yeah. You became a freelancer later on, I'm pretty sure. But first, you had to put out your work to attract people and tell them what you're doing right. Exactly. So how long was the process and was it an easy one? It was definitely not an easy one, easy one because I was a pre-medical student and I, I used to be always uh, in my room studying for my exams. 
and then there came a time when you have to you know apply for the universities right. and you get rejected sometimes and then i was like let's just take a gap year and you okay. know let's just enjoy life ek saal ke liye and then what happened is that um i'm the sort of person who just cannot sit so uh, i took and study probably and study <laughs> probably <Yeah. laughs> because i am the same kind of a guy yeah well that's good <laughs> <laughs> so i applied for a job and uh Three months, I did the volunteer work, and then they hired me. Hmm. And that was where this actually started. From I started earning money, and I realized my interest was more in makeup. So okay. I started buying stuff for myself. Mm-hmm. Like you just said, you have to, you know, uh, use your own money. Yeah, yeah. You use your own money to get the guitar. So I did the same thing. Uh, bought myself some makeup. and then i started doing it and then i realized i can do this wow, wow. So and you're amazing. doing pretty amazing marshal thank you so much narhan you for i'm pretty sure things are different for you now when you told your family uh maine nokri chhod di yeah let's say ki main nahi apply kar raha how was the reaction when you said i'm going to do things on my own and then they be like what are you going to do you do you yeah. have any talent to yeah, what uh, <laughs> it's it's a it's a quite interesting story okay, by the way okay, i was ahead. working with a multinational company in silicon valley oh um but what i saw there there is no self development you know okay. in in private sector or mm. in uh, corporate sector especially mm. yeah so when i get you know got fed up with all this uh, you know problems at work um, i just uh, went there and quit my job came home yeah told my parents uh, and they were like kind of shocked okay beta tum abhi to job pe gaye the then i um, what i did i created a new email id okay okay and uh created a, a you know a portfolio on a freelance a platform hmm. first job that i took uh, was after like 2 weeks and it was only for 9 cents okay wow again uh, there's a struggle in the freelancing as you well you start somewhere right yeah, somewhere exactly hmm. so it was 9 cent then 1 $5 $1, and mashallah now i am i'm doing 35 dollars per hour wow. with one clients and his two companies and uh, multiple other clients alongside wow. Wow, wow that's, that's great, great. Yeah, that's so great. that did explain to your parents as yeah well. <laughs> I, uh, once once i you know uh, took out the money first first pay when yeah. it comes and i gave it to my mother and she said ah beta theek kar rahe ho tum bhi kar rahe ho you know i, I went into the group well, wow. i think that's great but you know for for the type of work you do i think that there is a lot of writing there is a lot of research exactly. in it yeah. why exactly. do you want to go through all of that i mean Uh, and if you, you do know, go through because all these days my assignments yeah because <laughs> these days it's not about working hard it's about working, working smart yeah. exactly exactly so what w- again uh, the idea of having teams multiple teams this idea derived from the the, the thing okay. the problem the problem was you cannot do a solo work in in this in these days okay yeah. you now you you got to have a team hmm. it's about teamwork now okay because there are small domains small fields in it like programming content writing content creation uh, strategy and marketing hmm. so if you have one person for each and you combine them in a big uh, a big team a coherent team right. uh, you have everything yeah. from right. start from idea conceiving to the hmm. execution of a project you have everything okay yeah. and uh, you know international clients Uh, they dig this this thing. Mm. If you have a have a good team, also okay. you have like free working hours. Not free working hours, but flexible working hours, exactly. right? Because when Very you do have a nine to five desk mm-hmm. job, you really have to go and be there and be happy and you know be yeah. nice to everyone around them. I can't believe I'm saying this <laughs> on my job, <laughs> but anyway, guys. So I feel like there is a lot more flexibility. You have more time for your family, for your friends, and everything. And right? your studies, exactly. You are and your but how is uh, how is your work flexible? Because for example, my if you have to make a bride get ready, she needs to be ready for. Because uh, I only day. take appointments on weekends and Thursdays oh. because they're off. Okay. So I tell them straight up that guys, I'm available on weekends. So if yeah. uh, you know, let me know the timings, let me know the dates, and I'll let you know if I'm available. So right now you're so it's not. It's all about P first. Yeah. So so right now you're not at that point of life where you're very greedy for money. You know? No, oh, I'm I need not the money. at all. I need this guy. I need this guy. Yeah. Not at all. Okay. So, so whenever I I have a basically trip or I have you know a get together, we have to go out and you need money. So that's when I'm you know taking more appointments. <laughs> yeah. And then you open your DM and probably. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> okay, fine. You can come over. <laughs> okay, that's nice. But now let let's get down to a point. point where you actually started you know you took a year off of uh, studies mm. and then you you realized and you started doing this as well when did you got to know that people are actually liking what i'm doing yeah. because uh, i used to have friends uh, you know the people you talked about um, the people you call friends who actually i don't want to say this but they exploit your work okay. they'd be like uh, we're coming over we need to do we need to get this thing done we need to get this thing done th- for free thing done ha, hmm. free ke liye and then every a single day her time pay you know they it's just increasing all right so what i started doing i was like fine if you want to get it done i've started my business you can come over you can take appointments and you can you know get mm. your uh, makeover done for me wow. so that's how i started it and that was like mm, shut up call from my side mm. you need to stop 
exploiting, uh, you know, skills, and you need to pay for it. No, exactly. but you did the right thing, Larif, should I tell Obviously. you? But ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to this because, of course, since we do have a makeup artist with us, we're going to make full use of that. And towards the end of the show or before that as well, we are going to do a demonstration for you or for a daily summer makeup look. Summer makeup. Oh, perfect. Well, I, I think that'll be great. But other than that, you know, I just, I just want to talk about it a little more. For yeah, example, Rohan, now, when you started doing all of this, you know, there might be a lot of uh, students, kids, you know, families who are actually watching us right now. They want to do all of this, but they do not even know where to get started right. from. You know, that's what the point is, which which blogs to go on to, you know, which websites to check for, you know, all of these <laughs> exactly. things. How do we do that? Well, this is an interesting part. There are many resources out there on the Internet, right? Okay. But in our country, we do not have any cons counseling sessions or, you know, any guidelines for how and where to start, mm -hmm. right? All right. What I did was uh, I start putting my ads on social media. Okay. Like, I created a Facebook page okay. for my company, Indeed. my so-called company at that <laughs> time. And I created some ads, uh, put some small budgets like $5, $10 per week. And this, after two or three days, I suddenly started getting leads on that. Oh, okay. Then I did some follow-ups and uh, uh, from Spain, uh, Brazil, America, and UK, and uh, you know Germany. Hmm. Yeah. I started to follow up the, the, those leads and uh, suddenly they, they, they came into my address book and uh, wow. now, even now, mm -hmm. I have few of the, the, those contacts and uh, they gradually, you know, gave up the work. So what do you do for them? I mean, what kind of yeah. work do they give you? Uh, basically what I because do is... Because with makeup we understand exactly, makeup. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> what is uh, this? You know, I... In a simple, like, what is in, this? Exactly, yeah. in a very simple yeah. layman terms, I create websites. Okay. I market those websites on internet. Okay. I, I take products from my clients. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, market those. I create ads. Okay. I put ads. I put budget on those. Mm -hmm. And uh, when these products sells, I get the commission. All oh, oh, right. Perfect, exactly. Perfect. And uh, uh, digital marketing is a new domain. Everybody wants to be marketed on online. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course, right? So if you are, mm -hmm. if you are good and skilled in digital marketing <coughs> and you know how to run the ads, right? You can pitch your idea to any any uh, you know company that I can market your um, products like you know beauty products. Uh, or even in the makeup community, <coughs> like they send you PR packages. Yeah. And because when they are putting out the product in front of people, they need uh, you know yeah. major credible people, credible exactly. people yes. that, that can review their products and you know uh, talk about them. Hmm. So uh, even in that, you get. Uh, commission and you get paid so right, that's absolutely. also a way of you know earning so, money okay that's great but I have a question for both of you because both of you do deal with clients mm. so we do have sort of a system over here in Pakistan where we're always always looking for bargaining I mean we mm. want the biggest thing in the smallest <laughs> amount yeah. does that happen to you guys and a how do you deal with that Oh, it, it, it might not happen to him. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure it, well, it might yeah, happen okay. to her. Okay, it happens to me uh, a lot of times. <laughs> hmm. But uh, like I said, you have to set your, uh, you have to because it's about your work, exactly. right. and you have to make it credible. Hmm. Yeah. It's all in your hands. So you have to set some standards, and you have to tell them that this is this, hmm. and if you want to get it done, then this is this. Right. No, but Otherwise, then, you know, then uh, I've seen all of those aunties, yeah, you know, bit of me. I know, yeah, I know, bit of me. Once I tell them that the products I use on you people, uh, they're the same I use on my face as well. Okay. Yeah. And they're high end, and mm. some of them are drugstore as well. So then they're like, okay, fine. Because if you are willing to pay uh, 90 plus uh, on your wedding makeup uh, yeah. to a salon. I'm not. Same. Yeah, I'd because I know myself. I know what happens. <laughs> so why would I pay, pay uh, ninety thousand for that? <laughs> and so <laughs> so like, to get the bride makeup done, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> 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 thank you, loser. No problem. No problem. Oh, yeah, it's alright. You were talking about the high-end products yes. and people paying ninety thousand. Yes, so if you're pay, paying ninety plus <coughs> yeah. to those, then why why can't you pay ten? So then, how many do you charge? You you charge ten. Uh, and if you know that, that people are actually play, paying 90 plus, why are you even asking for 10? Ask for 50 at least. Give us a rough because, estimate. Uh, because um, first of all, uh, it's about my flexibility, okay. not theirs. Mm. Okay. And mm. then I, I'm just taking making, makeup appointments. I don't have hairdos. I don't have okay. the other uh, dupatta setting and all of that stuff. Right. So it's just because of that. And I think I... Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I, um, so, okay, anyway, I have a question, but this is probably not related to freelancing, but for my own good and for yeah, go ahead, out go there ahead. as well. Drugstore makeup you talked about in Pakistan, I'm not going to name the places that we usually go to, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. Is it safe? It's, it's safe. Oh, okay. It's safe. <laughs> uh, if you want to buy something, first of all, I always uh, tell my followers that you need to go and review those products. Yeah. Try it so, on uh, your Check their reviews yeah. on Google, oh, okay, okay. because that's the safest option. Hmm. Uh, you cannot rely on... Uh, 
people say that you can rely but you can't really because they're being paid they oh, might right. be talk uh, they might not be talking the truth yeah, 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 so you need true. to go and do your research yourself so i think okay. these drug stores ladies and gentlemen they're talking about you know i think i'm going to give you a hint sun chemist and heen chemist <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, yeah. and what yeah, yeah and uh, i'll yeah i think that that's a great place to get your makeup uh, from but i do not want to go for a break i've taken out a song which i wanted oh. to hear to or listen to today early in the morning okay. but i couldn't so i thought that you know i'm going to share it with all those amazing viewers who are out there uh, it's by rap engineers <coughs> and yaruk masood malik I, i love his vocals and the name of the song is baatein let's go let's take a listen oh let's do it <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Bathe by Rap Engineers. Jarog, you've done a great job as well, and it's okay. polymer. I think that you know your rapping skills are getting better day by day too. But now, ladies and gentlemen, as we earlier said, that we are actually going to demonstrate La Rabe's uh, expertise of makeup. And today, what kind of makeup are you guys going to do? A very natural day wear, everyday look. Yeah, because yeah, ladies and gentlemen, because when I do, everybody yeah. is now, uh, you know, they want this kind of makeup, this soft glam. So right. let's just do that. Okay, and since this is summer, I mean, for all the girls out there, this, it gets so sweaty, and you just want to make the perfect amount of makeup on your face. So that is what La Rabe yeah. is going to tell us, and this is the exciting part. So we do have a coordinator <laughs> to our show, and she happens to be an attorney as well. Yeah. This is none other than Anam, and she volunteered. Actually, we made her volunteer <laughs> to be the model over here. Thank you so much, Anam. Thank you, Anam. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and you know, I think that, ladies and gentlemen, everybody wants to go for this makeup look is because of the fact so that once they remove the makeup, their family still. <laughs> I, think this, I think this is very important as well. So go ahead, you know, take it away, Lare, and you. you can even let us know what you're doing and you know everything and towards All the right, end. So perfect. you only have like what seven, eight minutes to do that. All right, yeah, do it. Can is that yeah. fine? Speak with yeah, okay, and so fine. that means that she's actually charging a thousand per minute. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. Wow. But meanwhile, let, let us uh, move back to Rohan. Yeah, so, so Rohan, I, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I have a question for you. Okay, so uh, I feel like we have realized that uh, freelancing needs to be mainstreamed in Pakistan, and it's great that people like you are venturing into it. But on the government's end, do you expect something from them? Well, for now, uh, there are no, not much policies made for the freelancers. Hmm. Yeah. It benefits freelancers or take benefit from freelancers. Yeah, right? but it's the need of the hour. Exactly. Now, what we <coughs> need is we need some, you know, solid policies that on a taxation system for yeah. freelancers. Okay. For, of course, currently we are, you know, giving fees to the foreign platforms hmm. by, you by know, you for using exactly okay, working okay, from sorry. Pakistan and giving them. Hmm. Yeah. And when when we, you know, uh, bring out the money into our our banks in Pakistan as a remittance. Yeah. it converts into pkr yeah. so Which we we people. we bring pkr to pakistan rather than usd dollars right, right? right. so if we have policies hmm. and if we have escrows made in pakistan escrow yeah. is a concept of you know cashing money okay jaise ek hota na ki paise aap rakh lo kaam ho jayega de dunga so it's kind of a cashing money so if we have a big escrow in pakistan we yeah. do not need paypal yeah. but we can escrow cash all the usds in our bank in pakistan we do right. need that exactly So it's it's a it's kind of a need of a time right, that absolutely. we should bring our own freelance platform like up work or five or something. Yeah. Rahan, hold that thought while we move on to Larry Borbe. What are you doing? Larry, so I'm just applying foundation, a little bit of it because foundation. we don't want that full coverage, and then we're going to move towards the concealer. Okay. Because so I, also, uh, I mean, uh, why can't we just put on the concealer? I mean, I think that that will work too. Because yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes you have a lot of pigmentations and discoloration. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to, uh, yeah, you have to, you know, settle it down. Yeah. So just okay. for that, we're going to apply a little bit of foundation. I think I'm not the right foundation. person to have been asking questions <laughs> no, about right. makeup today. You yes, are. I'm sorry. <laughs> so okay, coming back to Rahan over here. Um, <laughs> do you have any more insight on how the government should be intervening over here? Uh, well, uh, not not much, but but what they need is to make new policies yeah, on freelancing. Okay. And uh, let and me acknowledge as well. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. in pakistan freelancer is uh, you know currently nobody 
Yeah. It's a person who have a skill and you do not have any jobs and do, and know something hmm. about freelancing is like on the road. Exactly, exactly. घर से काम कर रहा हूँ मैं घर से काम कर रहा हूँ. But if we have some institution or a hub where or or incubator hmm. where all these skilled people can sit and plan for some bigger product that can be launched on the behalf yeah, of Pakistan. Yeah. You know, IT hmm. sector, it can work a big time. And uh, let me explain what freelancing actually is. Yes. Yeah, sure. Freelancing is. is a person who is not in a contract of employment by any company hmm. he have some skills or special set of you know <coughs> tools that he know and he offers his personal skills in yeah. his Our personal uh, capability to anybody hmm. even even a big company or a, a one person so uh isme ye hota hai ki you are not bound by any contract hmm. you can self develop you can learn every day and okay. you can you know bring more revenues to your country and your wow. life and that is absolutely great coming back to Larry Bore hey you've got into the eyes now so what colors I'm just applying like neutral colors on her eyes because okay. we don't need very bright and sharp colors uh, can you turn to us the camera and also yeah, show sure. what colors you're yeah. applying so these are the shades that I'm using this peach sh- shade and this uh, brown shade right here okay are you adding it to the crease only or just i'm applying all it over. all over the lid oh, okay like Well, okay, but move, I, I wanted to uh, talk about freelancing a little more. I mean, uh, <laughs> even now, you know, it's it's hard for me to absorb or adjust or mm-hmm. figure out mm-hmm. what it is. So, what are the kind of assignments you get? A good question. <laughs> I'm well, known for that. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm laughs> <good laughs> very yes. good question. <laughs> you know, there are many fields out there, from graphic designing. uh to web designing uh as she's uh, mentioned a content writer right. yeah. i mean a, a company can pay a content writer to write reviews for their products yeah right and a uh, graphic designer if you know photoshop or any you know photo editing tools that yeah. in universities yes. they are they're teaching their, their, their students you can go on fiverr or upwork you can create a profile and you can offer your designing skills to different okay. companies mm. you can create brochures letter heads uh, logos right. and you can be paid individually on a fixed price yeah. over and which is why time. i wanted to ask that you know half of the time when you read reviews for example i'm sorry but i have to name this you know for example if you're using cream Exactly. You know, so even if it was the dirtiest car ever you've traveled in, you know the guy will be like, "Sir, five stars, then." You know, he'll give me five stars. <laughs> so how many times you, when you, while you're on your assignment, have to write reviews which are really not on merit? Well, I I never wrote. No, either you have to say yeah. yes or no that this happens or not. Yeah, yeah, this happens. This yeah. happens. It's part of freelancing life. Yeah. You know, in the start you need to have the reviews. Okay. Hmm. Right. So sometime hmm. I have even a uh, discounted like seventy percent of the price to the client. Just so to get the five star review. Once okay. I have five or six five star review, then I, I oh, can make my right. mark. So, oh, you really do so have it's very important okay. to have the reviews. A right. Five star, <laughs> exactly. Even <laughs> yeah. if you have to pay hmm. for yeah. that. That makes sense. Larif, so, exactly. are you onto contouring now? Yes, very light, subtle contour. What do we actually call? What is contouring? Contouring is making. Basically, the, uh, yeah, highlight towards the camera. <laughs> towards the camera, yes. So it basically highlights your cheekbones. Yeah. Like this, and then you're just going to blend it out. You're going to start from here. I and think the Anna direction is going to be towards nice, the right? left, and enjoying. then you're going to blend it like this. All right. Because you Anna, don't want. Are you want, all right? You don't want yeah. any harsh lines, mm-hmm. all right? Okay. Yeah. What about the jawline? You also applied a little brown over there. Uh, yes, exactly. And then the nose and okay. forehead and all of that. Okay, perfect. Chiza, you even have like uh, one of those things where you blog and do something on Instagram. I try. What is that? Yes, but it's such a huge commitment. Should I tell you this, uh, yeah, Chiza? Sure. Because of course, I was discussing this lo- with Larib as well. Once you do claim that you're a blogger, a lot of people are sort of you know waiting for your uh, content to be there on the page, and you have to do it every day, and mm. it's such. such a big commitment and i have to say i'm so bad at it that's why i'm not even but have you ever earned money out of that oh i do oh, I, really? i often keep telling you as well yeah. yes luckily alhamdulillah even just in the beginning when we didn't have such a huge growth we were we, you know we started getting paid pr products and everything wow. you know reviews and what not and then mashallah we doing good but then again it's such a huge commitment for all the people out there who are blogging on a daily basis this is a shout out to you you guys <laughs> are doing an amazing job now what same is the question from you too as well how many times have you actually posted a picture of a product okay. which you know that is not worth applying on your skin hmm. but still have you still have posted it on your Should blog right. so that you get money I'll tell you I have a way with this so um because I feel like you know that guilt sort of does remain there it does yeah. right when you are exactly. lying out yeah. so if it's a beauty product or anything at all even if you, you know you go to salons sometimes and uh, when they ask you to come over and review it's it closes something you write the nice things about the product in the beginning and then towards the end you put a huge red cross and be like this is something wrong yeah. with this product but anyway moving on to larib over here larib what are we on to uh all right so i'm using this liquid tint because we know summers are all about sweatiness and okay, your you makeup can you hold up the tint as well i yes, want sure. to show everyone 
This is the tent. So I'm going to take a little bit of is it. Is for eyebrows? No, no, Blush. it's my cheeks. Blush. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to apply a little bit on her cheeks. Yeah. And then we're going to buff it out like this. Well, that's nice. For and a very you know, natural pinkish, uh, you know, right. flushy look. Okay, that's good. Okay, so Shiza, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very sorry that I've actually put you on spot, but no I problem. think that my job's very easy. So, you know, I'm more <laughs> of the time affiliated with events, you know, yeah. uh, larger than life events. So now yeah. I think lately sure. what has actually started to happen with me is that there are these multinational organizations who call me and then they're like, you only have to go like live for two minutes or three minutes from your Instagram profile mm. and that's it, that's all what we want and they give you <laughs> good money. I think I that's, that's, ha that, that's something which makes me happy. <laughs> but other than that, now there's one dilemma which I faced myself and that is that we have had this gentleman on our show. I'm not going to name him right now, but well, what he did was that he kind of uh, told us about that, you know, how he can put up ads and how your business is going to generate revenues and whatnot. He's certainly taken 45,000 rupees from me. I'll probably be, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'm going to give away everything because he was on our show and he's actually talked about all of it, which was a big fat lie. I'm going to bring him back uh, over here and we'll do justice with him that. And, he, and he's run away. He's away. He's not done any work on that. I'm calling oh. him. He's not even responding. So he's just fled away. So for I think, and I think one of those things needs to be for our producers too mm -hmm. as well. I'm very sorry it's for us too as well that we cannot pe call people on the, on our show who are actually quacks. So we really need to, and uh, mm. yeah, sorry, I'm going to take a little bit of money. It's all right. But I feel like we, this is a question as well, right? So Rohan, how do you deal with such people? Because like Shazad already mentioned, there are such people. Uh, I, mean, I, I can totally relate to Shazad by his yeah. problem. Uh, nice. It's a very valid scamming. You know, ah. it's, it's, it's a scam. <laughs> there are people out there hmm. who can, you know, put up their websites with the fake CVs and all the right. skill sets and they can pitch you. Uh, so how can you tell? You need to research on that. Okay. You know, what, if, if somebody, some clients come to me with, uh, with some project and, you know, he offers a good money, I, I, the first thing I do is I research his personal profile mm. okay. on Facebook to see his psychological attitude towards okay, the okay. things, yeah. his Twitter to see what he thinks all the time. If he is not the work, he will talk about the work. Yeah, yeah, things, yeah. Right? Right. So, if he's valid, lagta, then I approach him and okay. uh, I take 50% Advance. Deposit oh, before start hmm. and 50% after the uh, before the delivery. I mean, that's the after the delivery. Well, yeah. So right. uh, this is the thing. Mm -hmm. Or uh, if you are on a platform for freelance like Upwork or Fiverr, yeah. they give you uh, job security options, oh. right? Okay. There are two types of jobs. One is hourly and one is fixed price. Hmm. Okay. And in both cases, you got the money in escrow. Okay. And uh, if the client uh, accept the job or mm -hmm. reject the job, you will eventually get the money. Oh, so it's kind of a secure investment. So you need to have the escrows as as Yeah, a, you, you mentioned yeah, the exactly. beginning. So escrow mm -hmm. is the thing that can secure your uh, right. money investment. Okay, I have a question, but I'll get back to that. Larry, you've started with the lip color. Show us the color that you're using and for summer, I mean for daily wear, right? It's the this light pinkish shade by, can I name the brand? No. All right. <laughs> are, are lipsticks edible? No, some are. Some are. Some are, yeah. some are. So if, if they're not, why if they're they high and they the are. Time put them on their lips then? If they're expensive, they are edible. If they're not, then they're, they're not. not. <laughs> so, but you know, eventually, you know, if you put up lipstick early in the morning to the night, it. I think you it's just You end up eating it. Yeah, Anna? I mean, unintentionally you are. I mean, that is things? why you have to keep it in your purse, 24-7. Oh, <laughs> so I think so. That's, that's one uh, major point, ladies and gentlemen. If it's an, I mean, I don't know whether it's the right Definition, if it's an expensive <laughs> lipstick, you can eat it. If it's not, <laughs> you cannot. Okay? Which is the product. Because a lot of uh, even high-end brands are being, you know, yeah. uh, people are creating fake products. Mm. They're replicating those. Right. So exactly. they're not very uh, right. safe. Amazing. Oh, you you have cancer-causing products in them, so be Everything. careful while using Amazing. So ladies and gentlemen, Lareb is definitely on to Anam's face uh, with the makeup. And uh, Rohan over here is actually going to let us know how to keep your investment safe in terms of marketing. Well, we, had to, uh, we have to head out towards a very short break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Good morning. And we are done.
Welcome back to World This Morning on such a refreshing Friday morning with Shazad Khan and Shazad Hashmi, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are telling you all how you can venture into freelancing and become your own boss, as I don't yeah. know why he's smiling, but also <laughs> Lareb over here happens to be a makeup artist, a freelancer as well, and she is demonstrating her summer makeup looks <laughs> on our interni. And I'm over here, Lareb, where are we now? That's we are it, almost yeah. done and we are going to spray. Anam, you look close. so cute. Eyes closed, Eyes closed Anam. Because setting spray is very important, you need it for your makeup to set. And we are done. We're done? Oh, we're okay. done over here. Well, that was great. Wow. wow. Can we have a, a close-up of Anam's face? Also, uh, Lari, if you use this makeup setting spray for summer, is like a sunblock better or setting spray in terms of keeping the makeup in place? Sunblock, does, see, uh, sunblock does another job. And then setting spray does a completely different job. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so Anam, you could use yeah. Anam do, you, do you like yourself? <laughs> do, you, do you love it? You can tell better how I'm looking now. I well, well, I think you look great too <laughs> as well. But I think that over here, there's this one thing, Lareb, which you need to <coughs> clarify to other people. So imagine, ladies and gentlemen, that we gave Lareb 10 minutes to do all of this makeup. Well, I'm, well, the only thing I'm thinking is, why does my mother take an hour still? You know, I mean, this is one thing which I haven't realized. So every time, you know, you're ready, you're going to a wedding, honk, honk, I mean, please, <laughs> aja, yaar. I'm still getting ready. Oh, mera no, ready. but you know, that's the thing with mothers, even my mom, she, only to wear a mascara, she takes like 20 minutes straight. Like, you be like, I'm like, yeah. Not just moms, we also take 20 no, minutes. I, I feel like we've gotten faster. I feel, I feel like in 15 minutes, we can be done with it. Like yeah. with every bridal look. Yeah, it's because of, I think probably because of the uh, practice. Hmm. No, but, and because because I think that women does not get ready to show off in front of their men. I think women get ready to For impress the it other is. women. I think that's what it is. No, but that's not true. Okay, but well, that's debatable. But one last thing before we wind up, Rohan, this is for you. That what do we do about all of those people who claim to do all of these or provide you with all of these online services end up taking away money from you? How do we make them accountable for what they have done? Right. Well, uh, we need to create some fraud resolution centers in Pakistan. Okay. We need to take freelancing seriously mm -hmm. as a whole new subject, as yeah. a whole new domain. Uh, we need to, you know, uh, educate our students in universities and in institutions about ethics of freelancing because mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge domain out there in coming okay. times. Because right? yeah, yeah. work environments are changing. Remote working is more into, you know, into subject these days. <coughs> right. uh, so what I'd like to add, yeah. I think the freelancers, Joby, hey, they should take a stand and they need to speak for themselves. Exactly. Okay. They yeah. need to set some standards right, and some rules. Hmm. So that, that's, I think, yeah, one exactly. important factor. There should be some freelance yeah. union as well out there to, to you know, come, come... You guys make it. Exactly. And, and you know what? And, 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 you know, let's do it. I think that this is great that uh, Lareb actually uses the high-end makeups as well. I think that there needs to be people or hmm. team which actually needs to go to all of these freelancers and check whether that the equipment they're using exactly. is fine, whether it's usable on other screen, whether the, you know, food they're selling for, which is actually mm -hmm. homemade, is hygienic or not. I think in days to come, this is some somewhat which everybody will need to put in an effort and the government needs to look into it Most as well or the Information right. Technology Ministry as well. Most but definitely. thank you very much for being with us. It was lovely to have you over here. And, uh, you know, all the best for your future endeavors thank when you, you become billionaires, millionaires. Inshallah. And, <laughs> Inshallah. and at uh, bank accounts too. I yeah. think this is what everybody wants. Imagine people, such young, vibrant, amazing people doing what they wanted to do in life, doing what they love at such a younger age and then being independent. I think that's the best feeling. I feel like that is absolutely the best feeling. So ladies and gentlemen, I feel like we definitely gave out a lot of information yeah. today to all of you. I myself learned a lot as well. And I think we cannot deny the fact that freelancing definitely is going to be mainstreamed shorter, you know, uh, in Pakistan yeah. as well, all around the globe as well. And we definitely do need to teach this in our educational institutions yeah. as well. And you I'm, know, make probably, uh, you know, courses around yeah. it as well, and then teach ethics too. And yes. since you were, you know, mentioning about some person who needs to keep a check on all these things, Things. This should be a freelance investigator, right? I feel like we can yeah. do that. Yeah, I think we can do that. <laughs> freelance, freelance police. police. Yeah, like but it. credit is due. Where credit is due. Anam, you look great today. Yes. I think wonderful. <laughs> and thank you very much for being our escape goat. It was wonderful <laughs> to have you. Uh, you know, but thank you very much once again, uh, people, for joining us. And for all those people who are out there, well, if you want to do something like this, please make sure that you write to us on our Facebook fan page, which is with the name of... Well This Morning. On Twitter. Well This Morning without G. On Daily Motion on YouTube. Also Well This Morning. And the fabulous repeat is going to be Five past 11 p.m. tonight. Until the next time, watch you three. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much.